How's it going gamer? You got hands here and today in Dauntless we're going over an Iceborne build for Valamir's Warpipe. We're all super stoked for Umbral Escalation that's happening right now so if you need any Iceborne builds, you need any builds, I got you gamer. And check this out, this Valamir's build is pretty dope. It's got some good damage, it's got some good attack speed and it's all wrapped up with Iceborne. And the great thing about it is we're utilizing Executioner Spearhead with stacks damage percentages every time you make wounds. Not to mention we're rocking Savagery which gives you 100% damage versus wounds. So don't forget to grab your wound type amps that are in the Umbral Escalation for some really serious fun and damage gamer. Hey, if you already haven't done so, we created a Discord community full of like-minded gamers looking to hang out, chat, and help each other no matter the skill level. So if you haven't joined us, please do so. The Discord link will be in the description of the video. So you know what's next. Turn on your system, grab your Warpike, and let's get ready. We're about to get in this video right now. What is up, gamer? We got a build for you, an Iceborne build to be more specific for Valamir's Warpike. It works really good in Umbral Escalation and I had a lot of fun with it. So let's hop into this build. First you're gonna wanna get Valamir's Hope, which is his Warpike that has an Aether Hunter in it and we're gonna work with that. And also the unique ability is once charged, your next attack deals plus 550 Radiant Damage and it increases with higher curtain health. So therefore we're running Iceborne and we're always replenishing our health so that unique ability is going to be charging a lot more faster than it usually does because we're going to be at higher curtain health. You're going to want to put an overpower cell in there and then a zeal cell. We're using zeal because we're also using iceborne and that takes away from some damage cells so I'm trying to add as much damage to this build as possible. Next is savage wellspring that really helps increase our critical strike chance for you and your team so that's really nice. I really love Executioner Spearhead and it's hands down the best for a wounding build on the Warpike. It's because it gives you a plus 6% damage per wound and it stacks up to 10 times. So just imagine that. That is really good, especially in Umbral Escalation when you have two behemoths running around. And for the headpiece, I'm using Quillshot's head that has a savagery in it and we're going to put an Iceborne cell in there. And for the chest, that's Shroud's chest piece that has a rage and we're going to build. And for the hands is Torg's hands that has an overpower and we're going to put a raid cell in there. If you don't have Torg's hands, you can use Nasher's hands and put a rage hunter cell in there and just adjust that with the other overpower cell that we have. For the feet, it's Boreas's feet that has an iceborne and we're going to put a savagery cell. Savagery is really nice for wounding builds because it increases the damage against wounds, but we'll get into that. Next, like I said, I'll try to increase the damage for this build as much as I could. So we're using Drask's Eye. That gives a 30% increased damage for 6 seconds, so that's really nice. And we're going to top that off with Zeal, because Zeal just boosts that like crazy, and it's really awesome as well. For the Tonics, I really enjoy Frenzy Tonic, Stamina Tonic, and Blitz Tonic while I'm running around in uh, Escalation. But you can definitely choose what you want. If you want to use the Wounding one, which you really don't need because the Escalation Amp gives you more wound damage. But if you want even more wounds, like as fast as possible, you can definitely use that bad boy right there. So all in all, what we got going on is an Iceborne. We all know what that is. Hashtag, we love Iceborne. And then Overpower, that's 60% damage versus Staggered Behemoths. And then Rage is 25% damage all the time because we're utilizing Discipline. Savagery, that's 100% damage versus Wounded Parts. So make sure to wound as many parts as you can to boost your damage mod and then go and start knocking those wound parts down and start breaking them. Zeal, that's 65% lantern tap ability effectiveness. That is significant because that is boosting our 30% damage from Drask's Lantern. Aether Hunter, that's 20% damage versus Aether Charged Behemoths and that's when they have the blue flame around their head on their icon on the screen. And Discipline, that's what's keeping us at half health so we can utilize Rage at a consistent manner, but it also does increase our critical strike chance by 7.5%. So you can add that to the Savage Wellspring too, so that's pretty nice. And all in all, I had a lot of fun with this build. It does some really good damage and it wounds like crazy and it 
breaks parts like crazy and it'll keep you alive most importantly so you can get to Thrax and you can break all his parts and craft all his awesome armor so I hope you enjoy this alright gamer that's all I got for you today hey if you enjoy this video please don't hesitate to start a chat down in the comments section and let me know what you want me to work on next this is hands signing out peace y'all